ladies and gentlemen we are back with another video now this video i am going to be showing you how to install your custom app on your erp next instance that is running on the docker container now again i want to keep this thing simple of course there are many ways of doing this thing including setting up uh, i mean uh, modifying your your docker file but on this one i want to keep it simple and show you how you can access your instance your running instance a container and then you can set up your custom app there so if you remember let me just split this we did this installation uh during the last video you can check that if you missed it this is an instance that is running on docker and here we have if you check on the installed app and by the way i like to log in here as admin let me just log out and go back as administrator oh my the last time i had issues typing the name administrator i think i'm going to save it to save myself time and trouble so now i'm an admin and if i do an about you see that i have here the next version 1519 and probably version 1520 all right those are the only two apps that are installed we want to install another app here that is ideally our custom app and the custom app that we are going to be installing is this one let me bring in this browser is this one nothing much here it's just a custom app that i created it's a private repo so again i'm going to be showing you this uh, how to do this on a private repo because it's a little bit different when it's a private versus a public repo so i just created this two minutes ago put it on github and I wanted to get it and install it on our instance. So the app is called Ubersoft. So let's go ahead and do this. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to leave my instance running here. And then I'm just going to split this shell. And here we remember we have our file that is called docker compose. So if you do sudo docker ps, of course, let me provide my password. You notice that these are the containers that are running. Okay. So if you check here, you will notice that there is one container that says backend. So you can look for that here. And you notice that there's a backend here. So just copy this ID of this container. And then if you go back to my blog post, this blog post here, the one that we used last time. Remember where we had additional uh, additional operations? There is this uh, uh, operation here. It says to execute an interactive shell, execute an interactive shell inside a running docker container so we need to copy this as is all right and then we bring it here paste it here and of course remember we need to change this name so this name again notice that i have also told you here that replace name with the id or the name of your docker container so the name of my docker container is uh let's see it's this one so this is the id just highlight it and paste it here and then you click on enter so when you do that docker is amazing you can imagine we are already inside that container so here you can run bench commands like bench version that's going to show me the names of all the applications that are available bench list apps is going to show me uh, the applications that are, are installed i can cd into sites and i can list and you notice here we have front uh, front end local site one and we have sample site this is the uh site we installed during our last uh, our last video again so if you miss that video please go go ahead and watch it so that if you are feeling like something is not clear probably that video has the answer so i actually want to delete these two so that we can assure uh, I, uh, we can ensure that this is what is running so again in inside docker containers we don't do sudo so we just do remove this being a folder we have to do recursive force and then we remove that and then we also remove what we remove local whatever so if now you list you only have one site called sample site uh, here if we go back here our site is supposed to be running still so and there you go the site is still running so we are good to go then how are we going to install our thing again it's not there so we are just going to do uh, how we normally do so i know most of you have already figured this thing out so again if we go to apps here i mean they are just those two so i mean the bench commands can be read here now and i know some of you have already figured out what you need to do so this being my this being my instance or rather my github repo i just copy this and then i take it here i do bench get app and then i paste this so that's how i do it that's going to go ahead and grab my app 
being a private triple again is protected so i'm going to provide my details and then i'll copy my token i like to protect it like that and then i push that so that is running so basically pulling our custom app i know only that it could have pulled even if it was not on docker so and this font is too small oh my goodness yeah, i think that's better so the next thing now if you do um if you do bench version here you notice that there is going to be another site i mean not site but app called opelsoft if you do bench uh list apps still we are going to have to you have to next them frappe so then how do we go ahead and install this thing what is the name of our site our site is that one so we can just go bench uh site and then we pick the name of our site then we say install app and the app that you want to install again is this app so what did we say here bench site that install app that i mean the normal or the ordinary bench commands and then we go ahead and do that that's going to install opelsoft can you imagine that so that's installed and then of course the next thing you know when you install a new app you need to do a migrate so that is going to go ahead and migrate that so migrating uh migrating frappe migrating here up next it should have also migrated our custom app let's see what's going on i don't see like it migrated our custom app so let's try that again let's try that again migrate migrating frappe migrating that i don't see it migrating well it's saying here that there is no module named Opelsoft, but that's not a big issue if we go now and try to access this site it's going to break internal server error but that is basically simple you need to restart your containers right because you already made some changes here so just control c here you see all the containers stopping and you see we have even been kicked out because the container that you are in has been stopped and once this is a complete uh, 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 stopping then you can go ahead and rerun the command that we ran when you are setting up all the containers so rerun this right, provide the password it's not going to go the, to spend as much time as it did before because already remember most of these things exist and you can see that it's now telling us that everything is set up so if we go back here right and we reload this we should see our site back to life and there you go our site is back to life okay how about our custom app let's go to about now and you notice that we have a new app there called Opelsoft. So if we go back here, all right, if we go back here now and we do bench, uh, oh, sorry, I'm not inside the the, uh, the repo. Let me just clear the, sc clear the screen. I'm not inside my, my running doc container, so I need to run to get inside. And then I'll do bench version again. Bank bench version shows me those two those two applications bench uh, list apps shows me three applications you see opelsoft is now among the installed applications and is in the main uh main github branch so that is how ladies and gentlemen easy it is that's how easy it is to install your custom applications inside docker uh, 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 when you need to set that up if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below again remember i just wanted to keep this as simple as possible you can make this a little bit more complicated by automating it uh, basically by changing the docker file so that it takes uh, your custom applications but in this one again i just want to keep it simple no over engineering of stuff make it simple for everyone to be able to use so this can be any application it can be the hr module it can be the healthcare module it can be the lending module it can be any module including those that you have created yourself like this one that we have here all the best and thank you so much for watching this video up to this point and i hope to see you in my next video